All right, everyone. So we recently released a vlog, costs of uh, our build in Thailand, and it was very, very popular. You got a lot of feedback from it. I'll put it up here. Um, so if you're not seeing that, you can head on over. There'll be a link in the description for it. Uh, but with that vlog, we also got a lot of questions and uh, some of the kind of recurring themes that we saw again and again with it. Um, and mainly they were like, what should you do when you're building in rural Thailand on a budget and what shouldn't you do? And so this vlog, we wanted to kind of go over some do's and don'ts of building in rural Thailand. And I will say that this is not about like building in Bangkok or building in, in, a, in any other place. This is a building in rural Thailand, local, local <laughs> and on a, on a budget. So some people won't have a budget. They'll just be like, okay, spend whatever. Um, build a big place. That's not what this is about. This is about if you really want to build on the cheap. Because we had received some comments as well. A couple of people said it's not possible to build for this price. <laughs> and uh, we can tell you it is because we did it. So even, even Thai people that don't believe this price. Yeah. You know, it's like in the city they say, oh, uh, they can't build this, you know, like finish in at this price because sometimes this price only can be like the roof, <laughs> only the roof done. And we've done 70 square meters, 72 square meters, uh, and it's probably gonna come in around 500K and that's with the finishings. There's a lot of people out there that are interested in, in just kind of building small homes in general. It's quite a, a big topic. Some people are, are married to a Thai, or they have a little bit of land or their dream is to retire in rural Thailand. So we want to provide information for those people and also some inspiration that you can do things cheaply. Um, now, the other point that was brought up a lot is about, oh, what about the land? So of course, foreigners can own land in Thailand. It's, it's a common topic that comes up. You can put your land, land in the kid's name. There's ways around it. There's contracts that you can draw up. But my advice is that um, if you're married and you love somebody and you trust somebody, don't worry about it. And my advice is to build a very low budget place. Don't spend like $100,000 on a place. Just just build something at a, at a reasonable budget. That Depends on where you want to stay. If you stay in the city or tourist area, that's gonna be expensive. But in rural, uh, in, in rural area will be cheaper. Yeah. yeah. But if they're worried about like uh, building on their wife's land and they're worried they get divorced and lose everything, do you know what I mean? Oh, just she... think that it's gone to the kids, you know? It's gone to the... Well, if, if they don't have kids though. I so yeah, if, I mean, if you have kids, okay, I'll go to the kids. But, but for many people out there, they've not got kids and they worry about building on the Thai wife land because then maybe she's going to leave him for a Thai boyfriend or something. No. Um, <laughs> as happens a lot in Thailand, of course. Yeah. But if you're worried about that, just build a cheap house. Don't go spending like $100,000. Build a cheap house, one that you can think, okay, if, if things go wrong, then you haven't, uh, you've hardly lost anything, have you, really? Because it's a very cheap house. So that's my advice. That was another common thing that comes back. Um, and you know, the land, the land in that area, we'd guess our land would cost around 300,000, something like that, maybe 400K for a patch of land like that. I can't exactly, maybe it's a rye per rye, yeah? yeah. We just really don't know much about this. And we are gonna be doing a vlog on um, buying land in local rural Thailand. So, and we'll give you a lot of information on that. So let's get straight into this, there's quite a lot to cover. These are the do's and don'ts of a building in rural Thailand on a budget. And so we'll start with demo for the first do. So the first do is like, uh, to understand that the local builder, they will not give you the price of the whole house, how much gonna cost. Yeah, when they finish, uh, they will finish part by part and then they will tell the price how much going to be. <laughs> exactly. Like how many times I asked for the quote, how much will the walls be? Mm, we don't know. And then afterwards you just get the bill, but you're never surprised by the bill because we trust our builders, right? But Yeah, it, it's like uh, they think different way with the big company, you know, yeah, yeah. They, they keep the price like per square meter. Like uh, they wait for the house finish first and then they calculate for us later. All right, so the first don't is don't get angry with your builders, your Thai builders. Don't be shouting at them saying you should do this, you should do it that way. They don't respond well to that kind of thing. Uh, displays of aggression and you know, there's 
plenty of grumpy expats in Thailand. It takes all kinds, right? But uh, yeah, don't get angry with your builders. Do understand that it's not uh, the local builder is not like a Western standard or even the big company standard in Thailand as well. You know, they build like just what from their experience and also they used to work in Bangkok. So they remember that and they learn that and then they come to do in rural uh, with the cheap price but still quality we still need to check that you know like yeah. uh, okay quality is good and then uh, we check all the safety and the strong like that yeah so it's not going to be like the uk it's not going to be like the us the usa don't number two is don't pay up front for everything you don't pay all the money up front in one go uh, we, will, we will give them a little bit of working capital, maybe they need to buy something and then we'll obviously the money for the materials but the workers fee we usually pay at the end of the, of, of the build so actually we, we paid at the end of once the foundation is done we paid a workers fee then when the walls were done we paid the next workers fee like that so we didn't pay everything in one lump sum up front If the big company that we pay like a 10% in at one first that not start yet but we like a they will feel great by us so they will start to build like 30% and then they ask for 5,000 won yeah. <laughs> the small amount of money yeah. and then they will ask again like when it finished yeah. do number 3 show them the what do you want the guideline, the picture or like uh, you can draw or decide something for them to see like uh, this is the style that you want you want it to be and uh, they will look on that and then they will start building that so don't miss this point it's very important never <laughs> never miss it <laughs> yeah they they're gonna do exactly what you say so mm -hmm. we did we used a little app what was that app called no. <laughs> so many apps that I, I use, uh, I design and then show them. Like, and uh, there are many apps out there that you can do some design. You can design the build on, and then you can show them kind of the layout. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to do drawings for you or blueprints or. Yeah, builder not do that. They won't do that kind of. <laughs> you have to show them. You have to uh, have picture or something. They're gonna be like that. Show them because. Uh, it's not like big company. No. <laughs> they have like drawing plan for you. Don't number three. Um, this one actually is quite important and it's a, I think it's a mistake that many of us expats make. Um, go, don't go to the internet to look for the price. Uh, I know that some people are like, oh, I'm shopping around on the internet trying to find out what it would cost. And the problem is the internet, many, if you go to a website, somebody spent a lot of money on that website you know, with flashy pictures of this house, of how it's going to look and what's the final cost going to be. There's so much added on to that price. If you want to build local and cheap, which is all this vlog is about, it's about local and cheap, people that are working on a very small budget, then the internet's not going to be a good place to find out um, how much things are really going to cost. I used to search on the internet and I always thought, oh, this house is going to cost just 2 million baht, maybe 3.5 million baht when I looked. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't imagine that the whole thing could be done for like 500,000 baht, um, done locally. And uh, that's because we, our builders are not available on the internet. We have to talk to them in, in person and they're very, very local, they're very, very close to us. So that's a, an important one. Do number four is that, you know, you have to kind of like supervise with builder closely, like uh, watch every step. <laughs> It, it, it's like m many builders don't like this. Many, they don't like you. They don't like them, like but you need watching to. them and tell them to do whatever because uh, they have ego. <laughs> many many builders they have ego, but our builder, our builder, they like us to stay close to them to tell them because they worry to like do something wrong or not not uh, exactly what we want, and uh, they like us to tell them. Uh, every part of uh, the design and everything because they don't want to waste time to and that that, that this is important uh, it saves a lot of money 
if you if you do something wrong you know if it gone wrong you have to buy new material you have to waste of time like that so we're lucky that we have the builder that understand this too yeah <laughs> now some some of this is luck as well like you might not be lucky that your piece of land or your wife's piece of land or whatever is in a is in a, a good area with some good local builders you might be in an expensive area of thailand you may be there may be no local builders around you so there's some luck we we're lucky that we have these our little team and our little team they don't even go anywhere in Bodilam, right they just yeah, stay in our village Religion. they don't take jobs they get yes. offered jobs for big money all over they don't take it they want to stay very very localized so don't number four don't reinvent the wheel so there'll be a, some people out there that want to they want to kind of reinvent the way these builders work or oh you know in australia we do it this way or the uk we do it that way or maybe can you build me some kind of like eco-friendly straw bale house that's not going to fly in rural thailand on a budget if you if you want to do that you need to bring in a specialist that specialist is going to cost money don't reinvent the wheel just do what they let them do what they do they build a steel frame structure they concrete it you know, some people are saying, oh, it's the worst concrete job that I've ever seen. And it's like, just let them do it. Like, you're not, <laughs> you're not paying uh, a fortune for this. And these guys have been building, many, yes. our builders have built nearly all the houses in our village. And they've been building for 30, yes, 40, 50 years doing this. Yes. Like, and, and the houses are fine. Like, there's no storms have battered them. There's, there's never been any, any issue, you know. So don't try and reinvent the wheel like just come in i mean some some advice can be good it's like okay the concrete i want to do this the foundation i want to do that a little bit of advice is fine but don't try and bring like your own way of doing it to them they're not going to respond very well to that and in the end it's going to cost you money or they might just tell you to do one um these builders can be quite choosy of which jobs that they take what they know? say don't don't expect to be perfect, you know, but yeah. but the quality, like quality, if the bat, the build strong like that, you know. Do number five is when you buy the material, you go go with them. Don't don't give the money for them to just buy everything because uh, we have we want to choose the quality product as well. And then they always like okay, we need to buy this, and then we say. We, we go together, this our builder. Yeah, we go together because they also don't want to do it wrong, buy it wrong, mm. like that. And then buy with them, keep the receipt, and then put in the record. Yeah, for each, uh, each material and then receive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go go with them and buy purchase locally as well because it'll be cheaper mm -hmm. on transportation, obviously. Like, you don't want to be buying steel from Bangkok if you're in rural Thailand. Buy locally, cheaper on the transportation, delivery of those materials. And um, yeah, go with them, get the receipts, make sure you're tracking what's being spent, yep. have your finger on the pulse. And one good thing about our builder is they will buy like a, they're not order overload, you know. Mm. They will buy like a, they will count exactly this we need. If not enough, we buy later. Yeah. So not overload or like spend a lot of money on that. They will not, always not they will always try and be cheap too. You know? <laughs> they They'll always do. like get the cheapest thing because oh we don't want to waste your money. Agreed. But it's like no, we don't want the cheapest thing. We, we want, want quality. <laughs> you want quality, so mm -hmm. it's, that's just the way they are. It's a it's a good thing, you know. You know you're not getting ripped off them. There's some builders charging you over the top on materials. So they, they give a, uh, they recommend us this cheaper, this more expensive, like that. You know? Yeah. All right, so don't, number five, don't expect uh, deadlines. Like, oh, we're going to be finished at this date, so we're going to bring it in on that date, exactly. Uh, <laughs> deadlines have to be flexible. I always find that the builders have some kind of funeral to go to, or yeah. some, somebody dies and they go to a funeral, or there's some kind of ceremony or celebration. So, I mean, one of our builders, he says, oh, you know, I'm sorry, can't work Sundays. <laughs> and we're like... Oh, it's okay, yeah, no problem. But why? What are you doing? He's like, oh, cockfighting. <laughs> so he goes, does his cockfighting on Sundays? So you can expect a bit of a broken schedule. Some days they just won't turn up, and you'd be like, where are the builders? Yeah, some days rain, and then that. Yeah. Come. So you're like, well, where are the builders? Oh, they're not come for this reason or that reason. So, but be flexible about that. You live in rural Thailand. You're not going to do very well in rural Thailand if you have no patience. 
Um, in fact, if you have no patience, don't even bother moving to rural Thailand. You have to be very patient, you have to be very open-minded, very accepting, like this, it's a different way of life. Um, pe things are slower, it's a lazy, fair attitude. Uh, you're not gonna do very well if you're a very kind of angry person and you're, you're impatient, you want things done on this, 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 this way and that way, don't bother coming to rural Thailand, it's not gonna be for you. Oh, and just, just another note on this, they won't wear any safety equipment. So they're not gonna be wearing helmets and gloves. <laughs> One, one uh, subscriber commented, are they steel toe flip-flops that they're wearing? I'm <laughs> like, yeah, and they're in invisible helmets. They don't wear <laughs> safety equipment. We did provide some uh, for our kitchen build. We provided some PPE and stuff. They just don't want to do it. Like, I don't know if it's the heat as well. It's the way they work. That's how they do it, so. Buy them drink after work. Uh, the builder will start working eight to five every day. And then after the finished work, then we buy uh, the energy drink in the morning with the ice and sometimes we buy for them. And, but every day I have to buy them drinks after work because after work then we come and sit and talk together and have beer and have like whiskey. <laughs> but, uh, so it's like, uh, it's nice to do that yeah, for, for the local builder. Yeah, and then also some food as well. Yeah, food sometimes like, uh, uh, from the beginning, when we have ceremony, we 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 we, uh, we, we cook for them, and also someday, but don't have to be every day because that's gonna be cost as well. But uh, when pour concrete, because they have to stay the whole day and uh, not go anywhere, so we buy them, prepare yeah, food. prepare food and buy them food sometime. Yeah. And then also tip the builders at the end as well. So at the end of a, a job, give them a tip because you can, the margins here that we're talking about are very low, like for the workers' fees. Give them a tip, they've done a good job. Give happy. them a tip. They're happy, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. That's nice, like that, extra. Okay, so the final don't, don't number six is, don't keep changing your mind. Like don't, have a very clear plan of what you want from the start. We knew what we wanted with the cottage. We knew exactly the layout that we wanted. Don't keep changing because it's going to waste time and it's going to cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have a partner that's quite fussy, that could be the man or it could be the woman. Um, if they're quite fussy, make sure you sit down and talk together and decide together what exactly what you want. You don't want like a couple that that's going, oh, you know, I've decided that I want a bathroom here or I want this here or, I mean, that's just annoying for the builders to have to change everything last minute. It's annoying for everybody. It's waste time and money. Have a very clear plan. Have the layout, what you want. Um, so everybody's clear of, of what you want from the beginning. That's that's very yeah. important. It's like, as I will, I, will, I will take every part of the building, every part of the room and say, this will be the position in the toilet, the uh, window will be like this, are you okay, like that, you know, we, the time we like uh, just send a photo and talk online, you agree with that, like that. So we, we have like, a, we find the picture, uh, it gonna look like this, you okay, so it like, uh, make it clear, you know, yeah. what it gonna look like, not just being... And then you won't be disappointed as well, like we have experience um, with her sister of building mm -hmm. a house and she's away in Germany. So she has a dental practice there and it's, there's always mistakes because not here to kind of oversee it and there's changes in the plan. And so we kind of saw that firsthand. Yeah. It's come out right in the end, but it took a lot of like going back and forward. But you need to have a clear plan. So I think that's it. Six do's, six don'ts. No. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it, finished. Okay. Six do, six don't. Six do, six don't. So this actually, this took a lot of planning, this vlog. And it's a little bit difficult because it's a bit, this is not our usual style. Usually we kind of free talk, <laughs> but it was, there's kind of a lot of information here to put to put forward. Um, but so we hope it is, it is useful for those planning to build in the rural um, areas. Mm -hmm. So don't think that you can't do it on the cheap. That's rubbish. You can do something on the cheap. Um, you don't need to come and spend a million, two million baht. And I know I've received some comments that my wife says it's not possible. Like, 
But that's because the expectation is set, and, and ours was too, wasn't it? Mm. We, ours used to be like, oh, it's going to be two million for a house, easily. Mm. And now we've done it at 500k, we're like, this is good for us, This is we're fine with. We the, are so surprised with the, the, the worker fee as well, because it's cheap. Yeah. yeah it's cheap. So, so we do understand in some areas you can't do that because you don't yes. have access to the workers, right? Yes. But, but we... We are saying that this budget, or even a slight bit more, is definitely possible. You don't need to spend two, three, four million. And it depends what your expectations are. Like we live in bamboo huts. We just want a small house. So it's just a small house. Small it's house. just something, something basic, you know, yeah. for for us. That might not be your cup of tea. You might want a a multi-room mansion, yeah. you know, and that's price fine too. Really different. And the price, the price will be different, you know. We we just wanted a small little cottage. So we do hope it has been helpful. Don't be afraid to build in, in rural Thailand. Uh, it's a blessing for for those that are lucky enough to have a little patch of of land there and to be able to do it. And a lot of people are planning this for their retirement or they're already doing it. So we hope this has been informative and inspirational, even for those subscribers that are not building in rural Thailand. Maybe it's been a bit of an interesting insight into what can be done in comparison to in the UK or US or Australia. So we hope you found it useful and thanks a lot guys. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Bye. -bye. Bye.